Let's kick it off. Time to get it going. We got the solo set up from Stown over on that B site. Smoking a kit for Shush. Utility on Esetag. No Berettas for once. Feels like those things stock is on the rise. Lots of players grouped up in this A site though. Check out this counter. Two inside a boiler room, two back over on balcony. Feels like they're just welcoming Hampus to walk through these apartments. But it's actually Stown with the first contact. So they kind of stutter step it in the boiler room. Shush body blocking. Nah, that's sure. toxic. Yeah, I got to be careful or else Yabby's going to get killed. But they actually peel back from all four of those initial positions. Only Kadian sticks around. And they try to scramble this towards Arch where Shush opens up. The first kill of this best of three. Mm, they got real uncomfortable there for a second. But then Shush came through with the frag and all is well. Mm, good gush out of the defense here. That's going to make Brolin a little less confident in his ability to offer up much. Hampus in a similar boat. Stray shots through smoke. And Brolin emerges right in the crosshair of Shush. Esetag wants the bomb plant. At this point, grab a little bit of money. It's been left on the table by Heroic. Jabby not taking too much of a risk. As we do have one HP on Hampus in a 4v3. Mm -hmm. I think this is quite a winnable situation, even with three players alive. Retakes don't come easy. Shush's sure, sure, smoke could mean a lot. Plopsky versus Kadian could be important. He's the only one standing at this point. Three more players to topple. Remember, Shush is the guy with the kit, but he's also the player with lower health. One second, he goes for it. Oh, Plopsky. Not too far off the mark with that. A stray bullet catching Shush and suddenly NIP win T-side pistol, but not today. Yeah, I would just like to also talk about Plopsky because expectations, I think, are high today after seeing his recent games. I think in some of his anchor spots that aren't exactly gl glamorous, he's been doing such um, honestly amazing work, and I think he's been really good. And I'm someone who was calling for his head, you know, for the past year or so, just in terms of his output, his T-side problems and stuff like that, but he's clearly made a lot of improvements. And uh, there's more focus on the other players of NIP, I think, at this point in time. A blind spray from Tessas. Brolin lucky to be alive. Rather well-equipped ninjas. Taking all that bomb money, putting it right into round two. So there's questions around ninjas inferno launders. You got any other questions when it comes to the ninjas in pajamas or anything that you think will be, you know, a solid surefire element? Yeah, there's some weird trends. I think in general for Hampus, he's he's never getting too few kills. There's very, very rarely you'll see him, you know, under 10 frags, but he has trends where he dies a lot more. And so I think we're in a period of time right now where he's kind of dying a lot, even if he's getting 15 to 20 kills. He's sometimes coming out 25 to 25 plus deaths and, and so on. So there might be too many risks in his game at the moment. And maybe it's just his aim is not matching up with his aggression at the moment either. Keep a magnifying glass on it. Shush takes down Rez nice and easily. We've got the two Mac 10s, Tech 9 and Galil still postured, but it's not like they've really confirmed all these players. So understandable that we get the two CTs still committed to B. Jabby will be that rotate. Arch side is under question. A duo of men committed to the pits. And with 20 seconds left, killing that close rotate makes things look good for the ninjas. But can the Mac 10s follow through? With one, they sure will. But Shush just outnumbered at that point. And so ninjas with the arch kill get through cleanly in this execution. Kind of weird, but I mean, do you even go for this? There's no kit. You have no smoke. Even though you know you're going up against weaker players with bad guns, and you have a lot of time on the clock. It's this one molly is the last piece of utility they have. It does burn S tag, so at least making this one uncomfortable for a second. Gonna try to follow through in sight. Tessess just can't manage to finish off that kill, so two more come out of the ninjas, and that is excellent. Off of a bomb plant and pistol, it gets them those extra bells and whistles, and uh, here they have it, an early bounce back. Yeah, it affects their buy so much, though. With the odds on that retake, it's kind of a situation where you're like, how could we not go for this? We are the ones with two M4s. We know some dinks have come in, but ultimately, you know, they don't have anything to work with now. And uh, I think they should have taken the knee there. But either way, they'll force up. They'll have the shush scout. Not often we see the shush scout. Ooh. Comes out with early impact. Yeah, silent but deadly. Instantly. He's very much alone over on that A site, so it'll help that he gets some damage. Maybe that can uh, scare him off a bit.
three M4A1Ss as well. That's such an added bonus to the ninjas picking up that round. You know, you limp in with MAC-10s, you strut out with M4s. But another shot from the scout, so Shush definitely doing damage, doing what he has to. Still, no other presence though. That's attack's gotten out. Three. Oof. That's really well done. You know, this is one of those moments where, like, one, damn, if you had two guys inside A site with pistols. One, yeah, one pistol to pair with that. Just one pistol. I mean, that is. That would have been an idyllic situation here for uh, Heroic. But Ninjas did a good job of interchanging who was peeking, basically, to make sure that that kill could never come through. And we see the HP bars, but uh, all Heroic see are five alive. So they'll fall back from this, hoping there would be just elongated round that ended into their B stack. It isn't the case, but it's never a bad idea to save. Here's that first tag. Just as Rez is getting into underground. Clean one from Plopsky, helped out by Hampus, of course. It's a quick and easy assist. So the ninjas in pajamas to the 2-1. There isn't much to say about uh, Heroic on this map, so I think, you know, it's a, a really good place to go for uh, NIP. I think they we've got three. They're actually... Oh, you know what? They're they're coming off a win versus FaZe on Inferno. So that was one game that Heroic recently mm. played that, that I just totally forgot about. So that's, that's not too bad. Yeah, nothing to scoff at. Yeah. Now, that was a game... Um, where a jabby had, you know, I would say one of the few maps that he's had that have been good so far right, since right. joining the team. Yeah, his best rating. Yeah, and I think outside of that, he definitely does not look comfortable, uh, which is unfortunate to see because I think he was one of the biggest prospects, of course, to come out of the Copenhagen Flames and just Danish CS in the last year. And I think there will obviously be a moment in time where things click, but I keep I keep drawing back to this point that it feels like joining Heroic is like trying to integrate into Furia. I mean... It might not be for everyone, and it is also probably really hard just because the Flames play nothing like Heroic, and there's actually no other team that could prepare you for it. It's like fighting a, fighting a guy in Southpaw, you know? Ooh. Thought that nade would have finished off Tessas, but he gets away from it. Stown won't be able to escape the wrath of Brolin. That scout's just over in the pit, so the the what felt like nearly lethal threat in the last round not gonna see anything this time i mean they've nearly emptied the till on three players but i don't know if that means they'll end up closing out here especially if the exec comes in and heroic misread the situation start to dislodge from the site lean towards the a and yeah that'll be a free free plant and potentially another five alive round Maybe some bullets come through the smoke, you never know. Yeah, right, take one down at least. Bomb's gonna be sent in. Essa tag and Brolin on the low health. Don't want anything to do with that stream of gunfire coming through the smoke. So all things considered, taking a ton of damage across these two rounds, but ninjas don't give a damn. They'll hear about it in the demo. Ultimately means nothing. Yeah. But finally, heroic to fresh fields and pastures new. Gonna pick up some guns in the next round. See if they can change the uh, tide of this early. Gonna finish that sentence or? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can finish it for you. Yeah, go ahead. Early start to Inferno. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. He did all that, and then he just started drinking a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you have not clocked out yet, sir. Why use big words when small word do trick? Small word and less word do trick. So, that's that's clean so far from the perspective of the calling for Nip, the site picking, the entries, and just not dying. And that's a team effort right there. So, Hampus is probably happy. He got contacts in. Who? Hampus. Because he's normally almost always wearing the Harry Potter glasses, right? True. And then I saw when he got out of the shuttle today, he had some yellow shades on. But they look like, uh, you know, those ones that... Gunners. Change. Yeah. No, the ones oh. that when you go outside, they're sunglasses. You come indoors, they're glasses. Oh, damn it. Joey's probably like, it's this, it's this. And I can't remember what it's called. Mm. Oh, polarized? No, I'm not sure. Maybe. Potentially. I'm muting myself. Go ahead. I got it. 
Ooh, Plopsky timing. He's just got to find Javi. He's holding it to the left. Oh, exchanges damage. But Javi comes out on top of it. And Rez, he was thinking about that mid-peak. Could have followed through seeing as the left side smoked. And he starts to move that way. Remember, Kadian's on a scout, so it's not a full set of firearms here on our side. That's not a person. It's a chicken. Better safe than sorry. Kadian's still stuck in that corner. And look, Jabby, he's starting to walk up on short side. Ooh, just pressing in close. Could shush flash? Yes, he's got one in his hands, as does Jabby. He's going to stare at the wall and wait for them to walk round. Two insta-kills come out from the ninjas. Scout is enough to shave off Essa Tag from the rear end of that attack. We get a potential molly for Hapis and an upgrade here for Kadian. But do you hold on to that op? Do you let this fourth round slide? We've got no kit currently on the play. We've got Stown looking for vision over top the smoke. Hapis should stay tucked in, and there's no reason for the guys on site to give over any openings. Shots come back. Bomb at the halfway point, and Kadian's still unable to find anybody. Now that he's lost his teammate, surely he goes for the save. So it's the ninjas off of the short push with those quick two frags to give themselves the 4-1 lead early. So here's the first time that they're in the right spot and they have enough people, but when they, they lost both on lane at the same time, I mean... That's that's the only real issue. I feel like if they even traded there, Kadian has a much better timing to try to respond. But there's just they immediately release all the pressure on lane with these instant two frags after Yavi gets an opening too. And then with that, I think mean, Kadian feels pressure like, oh well no one's distracting for me now. He has to come in late. He can only get what's honestly an ex exit frag and uh now we have Heroic saving again. So I think that one's just a matter of aim. They knew the attack was going to come in. They picked the right site, but they got outgunned. Aggression. I like this. It's down. Doesn't see the player underneath, of course, but the pop-up's there. Great flashbang from Hampus. Deals with that mid-aggression, gets the 5v4, and of course, moves away one of the threats. We still got the AWP of Kadian, grandfathered from round 5 to 6. Yeah, that was excellent support for Rez, and obviously there's somebody else who got the kill, but ooh, okay. Quick one, in and out from Shush. A little pistol play, and of course, Plopsky, not a comfortable move to jump up there with the pistol potentially close left. He's got no eyes deep alt mid, so he heard those footsteps for a second, but has no clue where Shush has really gotten off to. Incentive to go ahead and get rid of this gun, in case it's actually priority of Farouk just to find it instead of win the round, but maybe they'll get to do both. We'll Cubby. see. Yeah. Oh, this could be two. Jabby shoots the first. Oh. Didn't expect Plopsky to be walking up along the wall. But again, right? We know Shush got off to somewhere. He could be as far back as Pit for all they know, but S a tag. Point blank combat op. And we've got, again, an open A site. So the plant will come through, no doubt. And Plopsky seems to be able to tuck himself into the site as well. So man advantage here, Katie. And again, that op's going to be valuable. Can't help but feel like this one slips through their fingertips, but you know, almost every round's got like, you know, a moment where Heroic have yeah. some kind of footing. Yes, I, I'm with that 100%. I think NIP, they just, they've ironed their suits today. They look really good. And uh, some of these rounds, I think, if they were just a touch more sloppy, Heroic have a way in, absolutely. So I think what we're seeing right now is definitely just the very best of NIP showing up and putting that pressure on Heroic right now. I don't, I don't know that the half is won by any means. They'll still be able to buy in this next one and come at it again. Of course, we just saw Yabby in the corner with the Deagle. That won't be the case next round. He was so close to being envisioned. Yeah. Yeah. But a good recovery from Plopsky. Jump scares all around. Yeah. Get the, the eyebrows. Do you have gamer face? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 big time. It's, uh... Ooh, a little smoke down at the halfway point. So it's like thinking about the possibility of a push through that one, but it's actually towards Banana. It's down best Brolin. Hey, <laughs> you knew something was up. He had to put one, fight in the, one foot in the fire to make sure. Oh, timing. That's timing.com. 
poor Cadian. It's like the most visited website this year. I doubt that. Right, right behind Reddit. Oh, yes, of course. And Blast.TV. And Blast.TV. The number one way to watch Blast. Shoutouts are by no means sponsored. Did you say that, or...? Say what? Oh, I never mind. The walk up again. Now, it feels like a better setup with Shush over towards the graveyard stairs. They've already got a deeper line of sight. Oh, but Plopsky's so sharp. Oh, and point blank, the off misses it, and Yabby's got it pulled back. Three kills in from Moto. He's got Esetag right ahead, and again, Esetag's op is sharp today. That point blank kill in Boiler. This one here to give Ninjas a chance at a sixth consecutive round. He's got Tess Essence down coming through that smoke soon enough. And I don't know if he noticed the feet that just came through. I'm not sure he did, but in case he got the bomb planted in a way where he could take Boiler, go back towards the end of Halls if he wants to, and they don't tap. So this will affect the decision making, but they're trying to meet him where he's going. Oof. He's worried about Arch. Oh, oh, nicely done. Okay. I like the fact that they don't tap that bomb. Yeah, so they, they can they can influence the fact, like, if he, if he tap, he's halfway down the halls, maybe he comes back, then they influence his rotation in that way. If they don't tap, maybe they read that he's going to go all around to Boiler. And either way, they cover both options, and they do it totally silently. That, that's pretty cool. You know, it's one of the situ Like, most of the time, the best advice is to always tap the bomb right away. Draw that player out. Here's a good situation of when we, uh, when we shouldn't. Sorry, that caught me off guard. Just that Viking energy. Suk Yahoo! That, ja yeah, that anime energy. So that's that big moment, right? Oh, yeah, well, we got the moment from sh from Jabby. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, exactly, right? You, you, ooh, oh, hey. Shush. Oh, almost set up Kadian perfectly there, but Plopski will survive to fight another day. Or not. Dunked on by Shush. Oh, was that over the roof? Oh, was that over the roof? That was you. <laughs> Excuse me? That's sick. That's sick. Wow. <laughs> You're such an ass, dude. <laughs> Hampus, he's got that trade back on Banana. Oh. Another hefty nade. Now I'm self-conscious. <laughs> I, I, I can't do this job now. <laughs> what is this? It was genuine excitement. He's on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> that's another scrawny line. That's a, that's a real reference. All right. <clears throat> Harry has the soundboard. Ask him for it. Shoot. Tessa's walking it around in construction, so Katie, and you gotta be, you gotta be sharp with this. Ooh, he is. He would, yeah. Got almost baited out by that little bit of a peek from Rez. Gave it a wiggle. Katie and gave him a snap. As the tag goes down, seven seconds, and unfortunately for the ninjas, there's nowhere to run nor hide. Heroic. They're gonna follow up off of that jabby 3K pullback last round into mm -hmm. two consecutive wins. Yeah, that was great. I mean, they did that without seeing anybody at first as well containments inside a banana and made sure there was just no space to work with. And yeah, you, I, you could see it coming a little bit. Like you were talking about how NIP, they look really good. And because of that heroic, if they were, you know, playing against a slightly worse team, they'd probably be winning some of those situations. I think we're starting to see them start to shine through. It's definitely not hope is lost here for heroic. And they're proving that, but still a bit of bank to work through here. NIP pulling out another buy. One interesting thing that I thought could be analyzed maybe in the future is, I mean, I can't do this, I suck at math and hate stats, but if we looked at how many rifle round buys you get on T side of Inferno, cause it's just, the op is basically off limits. Like you pick up an op if you find one, but you never buy one yourself. Uh, but I can only assume just because of the amount of money you have not buying ops on T side, you're getting a lot more rifle chances uh, in situations, uh, you know, third 15 round T half of them on Inferno.
Nothing to be anxious about here, Brolin. Worried about any of these corners. None of them are occupied. Kadian does get over, though, before the smoke starts to fade. So we've got him in down inside sight. Bomb well, sitting on the cusp of top mid. 35 seconds. We've seen some great things from Plopsky, not only across this event so far, but specifically already coming in from this balcony. Completely deleted Shush in Graveyard just two rounds ago. And it's down from the back site. Catches one kill, but at least it's still majority CTs towards the B site. That's going to be a potential opening for ninjas. Tess one and done. Shush, nothing. Mm. Well, and without that jabby arch side help, you know, that's what kept them in it last time. His 3k from here in front of Moto. Ooh, Hampus hit by the dink. Wild Spray almost getting the opening there for this 3v3 attempt. Gabby sends one over. Better stay tucked. Hampus crouched on headshot. A matter of millimeters. Bomb at the halfway point. Yabby and Stown with kits, but a flank in from Plopsky. Three kills in a crescendo. I think I'd like to draw attention to, first of all, Plopsky getting his kill, playing off the side of the doorway. You have, like, sometimes... You know, you've got to think, like, do I need to go faster here or do I need to go slower, in fact, because they'll make a move. And I think Plopsky read the situation really perfectly where he's playing off the corner of the smoke, understands Shush is feeling a lot of pressure, needs to try to find some action. But with that kill at that speed... Ah! You think about the shoes that Plopsky has to fill being the Hall Zerker, you know? You're talking about players like Rops that play there, you know what I mean? Standing on the shoulders of Giants. Essatag comes through with the op. cadian has got one too. It's posted here inside the apartments. Meant to deal with Plopsky. It's been a nuisance. And now he's dead this time around. So, man advantage early here for Heroic. And, uh, important piece of the map as well. To the point that you've been making about this A site not really being able to hang on. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a position now for Heroic. They make sure to catch anybody who's at the top of B. They aren't spotting it, but they have successfully got NIP to go back. Then they won halls nice and early. Only thing up here for NIP is the fact that they've got lots of utility left. Little crossfire setup. Oh. Jabby smoked off, but shush, he's okay on his own. And then obviously with top mid smoked, very uncomfortable for the ninjas to offer anything else through that. Maybe group back up, try to hit B. Bomb's heading that way. He showed his gun. Shush. Laser beamed in on Hampus. An error. Watching a slight gap over on the right side of his screen, he sees the shadow of Brolin. Comes out for the duel, and this is just going perfectly for Heroic. Absolute law and order. Yeah, I greatly appreciate just spotting like that uh, with the crack spot looking into the wall instead of just, you know, raw taking the duel, which you can do, of course, but I think even if you stood there every time, it's such a hard pre-aim. When you give him a sliver like that, it makes perfect sense, so... They pick one up. I feel like this one actually made NIP look a little sloppy, right? Because Popsky dies at a minute 20, but they asked him to take a risk. They said, go clear halls by yourself, no nades. So he was trying to sneak up incognito. But as soon as that part falls apart, that part of the plan falls apart, everybody starts just doing individual things. Or they felt like they overinvested on the arch smoke and had to run through mid. And suddenly it feels like, well, everything was about Plopsky then. This one small risk they took at the beginning of the round. But there should have been maybe more layers, maybe more belief they could pull it back in a slower 4v5. Because again, they still had a lot of grenades. Fun and games of the ninjas coming to an abrupt stall. For now, it's the Galil and the AK and the upgraded pistols. It's down feeling like he's got the space to make something happen here. With the flash, he gets into wood. Clears the alternative corners. Absolutely nothing there for him to deal with. Frag grenade chases him. He'll be on 80 health. Considering all the control that gives over to the CTs, they're happy with it. Oof. Roland going back. Just the tech nine, and he nearly wins the duel. <laughs> Stown just seven health. But also, seven kills. Yep. He's a very sc scary tech nine player, that's for sure. Love that. That one's gonna leave a mark. Oh, we saw a little foot ski. Tess, get around that corner. Yeah, before it fades. Everything that's left of the ninjas, destined for Tess. There's the one flash for him. Goes up for the multi kill, but nobody's blind. Oh. 
Like they were all playing anti flag. <laughs> yeah, be ready for the pop up. They're starting to close this gap. If the AK can nail a headshot, then they'll be all right. We got Stown and Yabby dinked. Shush, it's going to be him that alleviates the pressure. Rez, finally getting something in. Make it a second. Oh, We've got both players on site. Low HP on Stown. Kadian's going to try to come in from the Moto side, and Rez hyper-focused on Kadian point blank. Ooh, he goes out for the first fight. Sees Stown just as he tries to turn. And I guess they swapped weapons at some point. Stown onto the AWP. More importantly, heroic with another round. Yeah, I picked that up after that uh, first duel versus Brolin. Nip make this one as hard as possible because of these res. Wow, <laughs> no way he carries that spray over with a glue of all things. This, that was a beautiful 2K. I'm kind of glad for heroic sake they actually just closed this because it was already a good start. And um, the one one thing was they tried that flash to peak arch. Yeah, Tessus. That, sometimes that happens. You die. Sometimes people are playing anti-flash. But after that, they had the double pit setup, which is really strong. And there was no Halls player for NIP this time around. There was no lane presence at all. There was nothing to put pressure on the pit players from moving. Like, normally you're going to molly... You're either going to molly big pit from either Halls or lane. And so that opened up really strong angles for the CTs to just sit and wait in. So a flash on S attack, huh? That's a bare bones buy. Put the deagle at the front and see what Plopsky can deliver. Who's your favorite player on the server? Right here? Yep. Shush. Oh yeah. Alright, I couldn't answer that actually. Who's mine? Mm, Rez. Not Rez? Hampus. Not Hampus? I don't know. Okay. Well, you gotta tell us, though. No, you need to st you stop guessing. You gave up. Damn it. I don't talk to quitters. <laughs> Ooh. Here they come. The headshots that we were all inevitably waiting for. And it's nice and easy here from Heroic. Five alive. That's down? A nice spray down by my favorite player, Stone. Ah, that was my next guess. Yeah. Sometimes it's weird we talk about underrated and overrated because it's like, who doesn't think Stown is good? Right. But is he also underrated? Yeah, kind you know of what in a weird way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the discussion's maybe not around just how great he is. Yeah. But there's nobody out there questioning his ability. Yeah. It's a uh, little shocks in my book. A little shocksy. Nicely done from Heroic here to recover from that five-round streak. Tie the game back up and potentially end this CT side with the lead. Heavy A emphasis this time around. Jabby again just pressed into the wall. Like he was on short side once when the ninjas rolled right through them. Also kind of understaffing the balcony hold, so got to be careful. Jabby's ahead of the smoke. Oh, nicely done from Stown. Covers with the bullets through the smoke. Did they even see him? Jabby? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It looked oh. like he wanted to come out and clear it. And they right. actually, yeah, they'll make it way, their way back to B, actually. But look how spread out NIPR at this moment. Things getting a bit too stringy. Kadian. Catching Brolin on the front of that B site. Oh. Bomb now second guessing whether or not it wants to commit. Yeah, unless this is a double fake, the bomb is now in a position where he can't go B, so he'll continue his attack. A late smoke from Shush. This is oftentimes a death sentence. Can they wait this out? We've seen the ninjas cut through this initial setup pretty quickly. And Shush, ooh, right on the side of the smoke. Hampus not quite following those silent tracers to hit Tessas from sight. Wall banged Whoa. out by S attack. That's a very nice one. But S attack's gonna have to ace. He needs to kill everybody, and he's got seven seconds. He's actually got a chance here. Kadian, he would have to run through smoke to stop plant. A slim chance. Ooh. But there it is. Heroic follow through and just pressure him in that bomb site. Yeah, that was damn close. A really good chance. But um yeah, NIP got a little I don't know. I don't know if there was a psych like, themselves out. Yeah, it wasn't 
it didn't feel like an idea driven round there they kind of again just started trying things that's a huge spam that's like almost comes close to winning this i mean there's probably a part of Cadian that thinks you know do i you know do i really want to try to push through this but they have everybody surrounding him oh they had three never mind yeah. they're totally fine and, and takes seven the high seconds road. and yeah 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 so they were fine but listen, it's one of those days, okay? We've seen Brokey do what Brokey does. Yeah. He's reminded us all every round. Ooh, oh! What is that? I don't think they balanced for that. Hapis, the king of the Tech 9. Lineup meant to draw that back. Shush can offer nothing, and with two Tech 9 kills off of Hampus, they flood into this site. Yabby's gonna try to come through smoke. We'll stop two. How does he manage to survive that from Blobsky? Oh, Rez recovers. Another Tech 9 shot. Just stray bullet finding its intended target. And then even the AK spam just softening Tess before he can get in. So this one, we'll chalk it up to a little bit of Hampus trickery. Yeah. That, oh, hold on. I mean, Tessus is really low. He has a bit of util. I mean, he's waiting for a blatant mistake, but I don't know. I don't know if he'll find one. What a way to go. Your entire mid push gets dismantled by one $500 weapon. <gasps> Would have had time for that. Yeah, he How many have. bullets do you think Hampus fired for those first two kills? Ooh, six? I'm thinking the same. Okay. Let's see. Okay, no Five, way. six, seven, eleven. <laughs> But I mean, the first five didn't really shoot at anything. Yes, so subtract true. five from the 11. Those were just noise. Of bullets shot at people. Yeah. Six. Sure. We were both right. Sure. I'll take it. Numbers lie. It was nice. It was a very nice play. That's going to ha You got to walk that off. You know, that's going to happen sometimes. Not often. No pause off the back of it. So Heroic just going to try to recover... A smidgen of a lead here. Yabby, yeah, you know he's thinking about it. S attack lies in wait. I mean, fully stacked A site. How many more bodies can you just throw at this bomb site? Bullets zinging beside Hampus. Tess S. Nice double kill there, predicting that Rez would come out from the boiler room. And now they can afford to move a couple of pieces back towards that B site. And unfortunately for the ninjas, there was nobody near Banana. Mm -hmm. So the timing here just works out superbly for Heroic. Yeah, and they kept tabs on Arch. And then yeah, it was really great to have that. Uh, I'm sorry, who was it that just ran up and traded those two lane kills? Tessas. Yeah. So we can watch that back. And this is, yeah, you can hear the bullets coming through. And Tessas is totally aware. Really nice multi from him. We have seen these moments already. Sprinkled in across the half. They have utility. Yeah. yeah. There's enough to at least draw in a post plant. Cadian clamps down on Brolin. We get the cross into the pit. So S attack a little closer. Sidearm in hand. Last bullet kill for Stown. And Plopsky in a one versus five with 21 HP. No bomb control in the second it gets picked up. Cadian strip elimination, online gaming. Ooh, it's a dangerous place to be. So with heroic and ninjas locking horns here on Inferno, it's the one round difference as Cadian and Co. take to the T side. Brolin, um, I'm not trying to be toxic, but the three kill half, I would just like to pause, on, pause on this because the CT side, I think, is where he'll be really important. I think with new Nip, him coming into the team, him on Inferno over on B site, I think he's strengthened the map so much for them here. So we'll have to see if he kind of recovers. I'm just having a little off day. Hadn't even noticed. But that is unlike him. Here are the dual Berettas. They didn't make an appearance in the first pistol. Brolin's got him pressed close to the top of middle. Head of the flash. Oh, so many backs turned. Brolin gutting him down. Three kills with dual Berettas. Easy highlight clip for the pistols. Mm. And every single kill so far this round happening down towards the top of mid. Hampus could end this quick. If Stown gets this frag, there's a little juice left in this, but actually never mind. 25 seconds, bomb so far away. 
and Hap is finally gets there. So the speed's picking it up. Yeah, he who buys dual Berettas, as they say. I think at this point we're just seeing so many successful rounds that the only way to beat it is just to fight fire with fire and get them yourself because they're incredibly hard to counter. And of course, there are protocols here to have someone clear Brolin where he is. They jump out and they're all both supposed to be watching things but no one's successful, so they all die. Yeah, the Together, brothers in arms, the fourth, Blood Brothers. Fourth person in who does try to check him, just gets instantly one tap from Plopski, who's standing behind Brolin. So perfect arch play from the ninjas. And we're tied early. Shush with the P250. Okay. Well, already more kills so far this half than what Brolin was able to do in the entire T side. Yeah. I would say this kind of inflates it, but pistol kills, those are equal to rifle kills, if not more, so. He's got a head start, but he earned it. Oh, it's just given Jabby a chance to use this Desert Eagle. Everybody else with the Glocks on Heroic. Hampus Poser. Waiting for a fight. Nice I've, grenade. You ever done a casting like, half his poser, but he's the real deal. Not yet. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to spoil that. Oh, man. How do we get to juxtapose it, you know, in the future? Okay. When you use it. Set me up. Yeah. Well, here he comes. And there he went. One kill. And the deagle finds its victim. Its first victim. Are there more? Remember, Brolin pressed up close. He's about to uh, print a little bit of money, I think. A few Benjamins coming his way. With a bomb on top of it. So nice and easy. Him and Plopsky combining for the last three kills, and the ninjas have a lead. They do. They do. And we'll have to see if Heroic can answer back. And I think uh, it was... Uh, again, Heroic do have one really big win. I mean, they beat FaZe on Inferno on this map at this event. Very recent. I think recent it's always more valuable so they have that to look back on fondly i think i'm gonna go look at actually how their t side went on that map specifically you do that banana fight Ooh, maybe the molly turns his tail but Flossie's still thinking about it they did well they pulled out a Two to one ratio of rounds. It was the second half, so it didn't play out, but they got seven rounds and closed the game 16 10. So I think they'll be feeling good. Utility pressure here. We got five members of Heroic pressing into this A site. I would not want to be Rez and Hapis. They've got no support at the moment, but look at this bottom mid push. Very quick. Ninjas, it's no rotate, it's a full fledged flank. And as long as. Oh, the oh. Pit players could have stayed alive then maybe the defense holds strong. Roland, quick on the heels of this commitment. He's got more players behind them. Will Heroic expect that many men to be this close up short already? Rez a one and done, half health on Tess, S, and Shush. The support from Jabby up in the apartments, but an incendiary destined for the close corner, and that's gonna force Tess, S further oh. and further into this site. Then the frag follows oh. up, but too many. Oh, no, Plopsky, he lands his. It's the second nade that gets it done. That's a tag with the flash, finding Shush in sight. They know Yabby's up here. He spots it, putting his head on a silver platter, trying to hold this off. Plopsky's sticking bomb, and Yabby's gonna have to come through that smoke. Desperation in a 2v3 retake with the homing missiles back sight. No way, that was pristine usage. Every single piece of utility resulted in either space being taken, a kill being had, or damage being received. That is oh, amazing yoy. from NIP. I mean, amazing from these two gentlemen in particular. And again, they complimented each other's grenades. That flash had the player blind in the back of the site. Instant kill for Asatag when he wasn't even clearing it. He would have died for sure. Then they get the smoke off. All right. It's just the whole chicken coop. <laughs> Go on. I mean, that's great energy. I don't think I've ever heard them all yell at once like that before. What a retake. To be honest, I utility mean... Utility was nice. There's something cool about, like, you know, one, a round one by aim, but I don't think anything feels better than that. Like, that's a round that you Bernie after. Yep. Masterminded. That's a steal and dazed retake. <laughs> I 
And also, S Attack was so careful about how he threw the Molotov that it had that perfect spread. Mm -hmm. You know, he lined that up like a like the eight ball, basically. Made sure it hit that corner pocket, pushed him all the way back out, and got extra. I probably pushed him back into the HE that followed. Uh, I was a little disappointed just because the utility was looking so good that the first frag didn't get any damage. Yeah. Flopsky sends the second one in. Dunked on. Of course, trying to make the most of this. Heroic not wanting to offer over an earlier lead, but it's going to keep growing unless Stown's AK can pop off. Or they find this site a little understaffed. Front site smoke. S attacks rotate could be crucial, but now there's a pocket of smokes here. And these pistols are meant to just run through. 15 seconds, not a lot of time to be playing with, so it's gonna come down to this crunch time and that flash that you queued up could be the end all. Here's Plopsky in the back site, just looking to deny any type of a bomb oh. plant. Ah, oh, but they don't think they, they have it up. No, they don't. They didn't pick it up in time. S attack is sharp. I'm telling you, any time tonight that he's been under pressure in one of those weird op shots, Feels like he's landing them. Yeah, it's like the clutch opping kind yeah. of. Like, I wish there was a better word for it. There probably is, but I guess the chaos. You know, I don't know. He, he but yeah, he, he's hitting the hard ones. I think that's the the best way to put it, and necessary for sure. I don't even know if they could have got this back if he died right here at this point in the round. Yeah, every dollar you save is a dollar you earn, right? I suppose so. Oi. There we go. Shush. Damn. Peeled off of the 5v5. Early man advantage. Banana control. And a fallback from that initial top mid setup. Nade damage is great as well. Kadian just before he starts to leave the other side of that smokes. Gets a face full of shrapnel. Now looks to bring Bomb into the back of his three teammates. Rez inside pit. But they have crept up quite a bit. Look at Hampus. He's not even really watching for the possibility here. Somebody's going to walk into a crosshair, and Rez gets the better of it, but he loses his support. It's a similar situation to the last time. Three players immediately flanking. So Rez better just hold on for dear life and hell. Maybe Rez can even do this on his own. Seriously, they're just letting him work. <laughs> it's it's fine. They're just enclosing on this. It sucks. Plucked off of both positions. Finally, something goes the way of Heroic within this site. Yabby just gets hit by another nade. The utility coming in from short is fantastic, and the momentum's clear. Five in a row from the ninjas. They were preoccupied by kind of ghosts right there, trying to figure out where the next target was. Meanwhile, it was just Rez with this big wall in front of him and a smoke that they were, I guess, trying to wait out. Look at the aim right here from Rez. There was that round where he was up on the balcony and he had the Fomus, and I was like, man, if he had any other guns, you think, uh-oh. And then he just delivers. So five straight. A T side without round wins so far from Heroic. And a 21st round that will include no primary weapons. Tech nines and a single D. At least there are grenades, at least there is armor. They're playing off the back foot, and the ninja's tearing them up. They're here in the Tech Nines. They're setting up. Vanilla just peeling back now. Don't want to give them close angles. Heroic simplifying as well. Taking the space that's been given to them. Oh, a re-aggression. Is it timed well? The nades? Uh, doesn't he oh, oh my god, that's perfect. Beautiful. And then the spray from oh, Roland's oh, good oh. enough. Oh, that would have served as such a great trigger for the flood to follow through. Brolin still alive and kicking. Gets hit by Stown on the drive-by. Hampus burning him, however, and no plant off the back of it. Excellent grenades onto the coffin. Perfect call out, but still, ninjas survive. Yeah, look, Popsky was looking into the wall for a second and i think i think he might have been setting up the coffin's flash because they were starting to push up into the smoke and in the spot right here a teammate dies in the back roll and saves a day with this spray Oof, just getting back around the corner 
and they keep whittling them down the farther they get into the site. No plant here. 13 rounds for NIP. Looking unstoppable. Utility pressuring everywhere. Short side apartments. Arch and banana. So it'll obviously mean a ton uh, to both teams here. We've got, you know, five Danes on one side. We've got tag on the other side getting to the fall finals. If they can surmise a win. You know, Copenhagen not too far from Sweden either. There's got to be some in the crowd. Hampus. Oh, goes off the flash, but a follow-up from Rez. He gets the flash assist. And then gets two kills of his own. And poor Jabby. If he had that bomb, then I'd give him a chance. But they can just goose egg this one, sit on top of it. Oh, even burning time off of the clock. So no element of surprise here from Jabby. He's just going to have to hope that he can hit some real stellar shots. And the waiting game continues. And the waiting game continues. He'll wrap it back around. Let's see, anybody facing? Nope. They're playing it boring and well. Yeah. <laughs> if only Astralis had that energy. Ooh. -y. The dink is there, and so is the frag from Plopsky. So the ninjas continue with a flawless CT side. Yeah. Again, pretty much no stopping them. And it's been such an even strength effort here from all the players on NIP. There's not really anybody who's standing out, but we've seen rounds from almost everybody, especially Rez. You know, I mean, he's only like between 12 and 14 kills right now, but it feels like he's been a king on the A site. Yikes. More pistols coming out of Heroic. I mean, Blinken, you missed it. This has just been an excellent CT side. It, it really does kind of come back, in my mind, to that two versus three with the perfect utility. And that was meant to be Heroic's breakthrough moment. Yeah, they can rely on every... The highest amount of kills is 15 right now in this much of a dominating map. All of the ninjas have come to play. Between 15 and 13 kills apiece. No weak oh, link. They made that so messy for Heroic. Hampus ready. He wants to pop back out. But with Brolin going down, he'll, yeah, oh. think a little better. Great grenade damage. Primes Plopsky for an easy pickup. Oh, and they, still, that AK just can't get anything opened up. It's going to be the shush walk out from Balk. Rez between both packs of Heroic's players. And if he's not careful when he backs up, I mean, he's just going to get shot in the back of the head. He's playing like this is not even a possibility. A missed shot from Esetag. You know, we've just been praising his ability to hit every shot that comes his way. Well, there's a miss, and here's a chance. Heroic grab guns, and it's going to be a man disadvantage on the retake if the ninjas want to try and throw this one to stick. Wow, I, it didn't seem like there was leverage, but Shush did find a way. Getting out of the halls right there, that was the key play. Of course, if Esetag hits a shot, they probably still win in this situation. I'm, I'm going to say it's not that tragic just because of the lead we're seeing from NIP. Uh, and also, earlier on in the round, the utility usage on Banana was so oppressive. The fact that they had them smoke the molly that landed as they were pressing up and fighting, but not over committing in any sense, and then getting back. Basically, if Tessas doesn't hit that instant Tech 9 shot, they're going to get shut down. We don't even see them go back to A. Well, a curveball then. Heroic will take at least one round win. And the ninjas can't celebrate yet. Yeah, it's not a great sign that it happens when you're saving, but you'll you'll take anything now, especially if it stops match points. So NIP, well, of course, they still got money here. Kind of hoping nobody's inside of mid. Estek can get shot. Yeah, that's not ideal. Yeah, it's, it's really hoping someone was approaching from alt, but whoa, two trades back. Red's Sorry. alive, but dead now. Jabby, he was a pain in the ninja's side when he was on the CT half. 
Now he cracks it open from the balcony. Bomb's going to be a little bit late, so this could just give good time to Plopsky to come and join his teammates. Looking like a semi-comfortable 3v3 once Bomb goes down. Curious to see utility timings, though. How many get burned before the plant actually happens? How many are held on to for the retake itself? Plopsky taking the long route, clearing all the apartments on his way to this bomb site. The bomb itself has dropped. Yeah, it's not planted yet. CTs are getting into really good spots. Molly down towards pit. They've got vision on it as well. Throw a smoke ahead of it. It's down in Tessas to be pinched inside the bomb site. Jabby trying to play around that over towards pit, and Brolin's the first to be killed. That looks like it just goes right through smoke. Brolin hadn't even tried to push through yet, and that just kind of takes everything right away from the ninjas. A tenth for Heroic. Ah, uh, they'll take it, actually. So that's, yeah, dignified now with the second round in a row. That's that's a, a good take of the situation. The late moto smoke, I think, was pretty damning in that spot as well. And, of course, these days you've got to start running early because of how big that uh, bomb explosion radius has become. But they all will get away safely. So, Heroic with majority alive, and I thought that, you know, we were about to see a potential retake with the amount of time it took to get the bomb planted in the first place. Let that long flank through the halls get into position, but... I want to see that stown kill, though. From the corner box into the moto smoke. Oh, oh he just shot shots. back. Okay. Yep. Brolin right. asked for it. Yep. He wanted that. Ask and thou shall receive. Well, that works out. A couple of good kills here and there from Yabby. He's kind of second on the board behind Stown. Game on. A duo of deagles here for the ninjas. They split them between the bomb sites, put rifles nearby, and allow Plopsky to get aggressive, but just shuts it down. And he's not alone there on Banana. They're going to try to follow through. Tess takes a ton of damage. And Hampus has the smoke to cool off Heroic. Oh, they want to fight so badly. It's a great defense from Shush up on the car after the flash came through. They know about the op, even though they know this is a, a save based on what they've heard. That in, in and of itself can be a little scary. And oh my god, NIP, they've read this. Hampus is getting into a better spot. The call from him is perfect. Bomb in this direction. They've got one Halls Lurker. They're in a spot where Yabby could search. In the Halls, though, it might be scary for him to come out. So if they're going to commit B here, this could be tragic. Oh. They could still leave. Jabby's thinking about coming out of the balcony. Yeah. Yeah, good job. That danger sensed. Wow. It's still not a confirmed A site, so with the speed here from Jabby, I, I thought maybe ninjas would send some players back, but they're they're still expecting that commit into the A site. Yeah, this is kind of risky from Heroic, so if they're counting grenades in this wow. spot, Heroic don't have anything to get back to the A site for they don't have a flash for mid. If S tag was posted on Arch, that was a free kill. So that was a brave call to make for Heroic, but it was the right one. They went off the info. They said something's not right here. There's too many bodies still. Hampus is getting really comfortable in the B site instead of playing a rotator spot. Let's just see. Let's just see if uh, Yabby not hearing anything is a sign. And even if he doesn't see anything, no footsteps inside a pit, no flashes being thrown, no one running towards Arch. So A he, lifeless bomb site. Yeah. Shush. Almost caught there by Plopsky. The last there we have it. That's 11 to Heroic. Luckily for ninjas, they hang on to the four guns. The rebuy is going to be made easy. It's going to be gun round after gun round. But you know what? There's been a few maps where I feel like Cadian's calls have, have definitely kind of been highlighted uh, yeah, as win sure. conditions so far this event. And and that's one right there that pays off. Yeah, I think he's willing to take risks. And I think that um, sometimes it's easy to say, oh, let's just do this. But they're also able to organize really quickly behind the calls. And I think that's hallmark to what makes Heroic like what they are. No hesitation. Killer yeah. instinct. Pack mentality. At a three-round gap here. As they try, try to catch up to the ninjas. Oh, Stown. Right through the smoke. Brolin just got clotheslined. And that's going to serve as an invitation. Frags exchanged. One damage. Stown doesn't give a damn. Yeah. 
Plopsky's pulling all the way back. Uh, it's down going to lurk all the way in, man. They, I think they threw this nade so he could just take as much space as he can. Frontside smoke comes out. Oh, yes, he will get his. This is a beauty from Stown. And there's nothing else to do. They know this site is open. Scrambling back over, Hampus. Gonna need that third gun if it's gonna be a, a you know a flawless rebuy in the next. They just got absolutely played right there. Wow. Smoke spam. Brolin. Brolin and Plopsky playing dangerous games and paying the price this time. I really thought, I mean, obviously, game looked like it was over at, at a certain point. Now Heroic with 12. They were doubting themselves. Maybe that's gone. Look at these hunters on Heroic. Yeah, if you think these are freebies, think otherwise. Eight players alive now. We'll see how many stand at the end of this. It's going to be a clash inside the A site. Rez is out. Hampus trying not to go down, and they clear the entire board. Excellent situation now for Heroic. They got full momentum. They've got a blossoming economy, and they've got ninjas in a very tough spot. Yeah, that is way harder than it looks. Now, I think economically, listen, that's a, that's a little bit of luck right there, but it's Brolin shooting back for the exact same player. It's Bro. See if things change towards Banana. Brolin. Oh, he gets the better of Stown. A taste of his own medicine. Oh, but the dunk comes out from Kadian. So back and forth. Fighting for Banana. More utility exchanged. And Plopsky sticks around for a second. Kadian scoped in on this. Molly's burning Plopsky. Smoke's going to confirm it. Can Hampus get him out of here? Yeah, he did. Nicely done. Quick flash and an exit. Plopsky disappears. They were just about to jump on him, so flash couldn't have come sooner. For Heroic, that's too confirmed on B, but they'll just wait and reset. What's the call, Kadian? What's the move? Yeah, there isn't much for ninjas to do in this spot. It's not a terrible position to be in, especially with this off up. Hampus has a smoke for himself. But if they molly him, he's going to be forced to turtle. And he is alone for the moment. Going to try those coffin nades again. Nobody oh, yeah. home. And one off the mark. Wouldn't have killed him anyway, looks like. Now here comes the fire. All right, so we'll see. He actually leaves. Goes to emo with his smoke still in hand. Oh, Drops there it back is. Site. He's got the cover for the time being. 10 seconds. Oh, Plopsky through the CT smoke. Bomb's not yet on site. Shush is trying to find Hampus. what he knows is the player back site. Hampus comes wide, kills the wrong player, bombs down, rounds live. Carnage inside the B site. He just wanted to deny that bomb plant. A labored spray versus another player. And it goes down. Tess right there. And oh. a point blank headshot into Essa Tag. And Essa Tag's been so clean in those moments, but he didn't even get a chance to pull that trigger. Now Rez has to manage somehow an opening. And instead, he just swallows his pride and walks away five consecutive for heroic. That is insane, man. That, I, I thought that S Tag, or Hampus, excuse me made a really strong play that was going to work because you know if you go and tuck into a smoke and you've got a teammate to watch for then that can be a bad move but by himself right there they were really just killed him faster than maybe plopsky yeah, lives not sure oh well okay a full well a, a half buy here as nip look to buy next round they still have the rifle up on res but early on almost 100 damage over 100 damage done here to plopsky and brolin
heroic with that tingling feeling of an incredible comeback. Yeah. If anyone is feeling electricity right now, it's got to be the Danes. Tight match, but no standout performance barring Stown. 24 kills to his name. As per. Everybody else, you know, doing their job, putting up numbers. Right now, he's making the difference. Gonna try to wield him towards this B site I, yet again. I think this one was called out of spawn. They don't have any any contact here. The CT's coming in. And they're throwing additional smokes to make it feel like, okay, you should go B, but... Group up's going into the rifle now. That's what Rez is looking for. Chance for impact. No kill. Oh, Javi oh, okay. doubles down on the headshots. A site free for the taking. Nicely done. Yabby, yeah, wow. And he touches 20 with that one as well. And putting up a couple of good maps here at the fall groups, even though I had to struggle some last series. Bomb has been planted. That's 14 with confidence. And they can go and hunt if they want to. I mean, they don't maybe know how many guns reside in the B site right now in the save. But it doesn't seem like it'll matter for Heroic. Kadian sitting on 8,700 bucks. Yeah. Got the money to play around with. Again, if they knew, they probably left this slide. Why not? Just oppress them. Suffocate the economy of the ninjas. Three easy kills. They lose one in the process. Mm -hmm. Nothing to be ashamed yeah, of. Yeah, and we look back on that round where they killed three who were, you know, in that post-plant save on the A site with, like, optimal spots. And Heroic pulled off a full retake to get them all dead. Oh! It's like that. Damn. Yeah, Rez kicking himself a bit. He's been pretty clutch, I think, over, you know, on the CT side in, in some of these rounds. Couldn't adjust for that last kill, though. I can't believe this is a 30-round game. Yeah, seriously. Felt like we could have just autopiloted to a ninja's, you know, 16-8. And this is no choke, you know. Heroic are playing really well. But I think I extend that same compliment to NIP. It's just less well, less often in these last few. There have been some really critical exchanges on these smoke grenades, and it's almost like they're mirroring one another. Oh, but Hampus haphazardly walks across the gap. Kadian's going to punish that one. Could be a golden ticket to hit that A site, and that's what the ninjas are thinking as they pull Plopsky back over to the A. We've got to see something from Brolin. Remember, he's the one working with lesser health. He's the player who, while has been getting kills, isn't necessarily putting up multiple. Yeah, he went from three kills in half number one to 18 now. It's a great recovery, but this is a critical round. Yeah, these ones matter the most, absolutely. Now it's often been the t Oh, Rez. Make a play. Yeah, he's found a way to get out of halls. Yabby's inside of middle. This will be confusing for the CT side. Oh, things are going to get weird. We've got a flank for each team, and they may not even know about each other. It could boil down to timing. 35 seconds, bomb drop, Tess in the pit. Brolin can't hang on. Delivered on a silver platter, and the headshot can't connect, but Plopsky sure can. And now they're going to get squeezed. Yabby still getting through that CT spawn, trying to find his impact, attempting to make contact, and there's nobody home. He finds it, and an exit. Bomb given to him, and he is gone. An excellent performance previously on Inferno, and now a critical clutch could come through. He has mere seconds to spare as he gets into this site with a safe plant and a 1v2 at hand. 15 round wins on the cards. And he feels that pressure from short slides and sees the opper. S attack Ooh. connects. Op impact from the ninjas. They finally find 15. Oh, that was a heart racing round right there. And a great attempt as Kadian relays the bomb over to Yabby, trying to get to the A site. That would have been a real good play. If he crossed that line, it would have been actually so difficult for ninjas with one extra player of cover to get through to go for a retake. But Plopsky does a lot here. Brolin does enough by getting his one kill. And I think most importantly, staying alive to the point that he can get that clutch kill on the site. One more round win seems like an easy task. And that was the play from Kadian. He got to the end of Halls by a minute 23 with his op posted on the Hampus rotation. It was like, whoa, how did he do all that? 
That was a big move. Oh, and s tag picks one down for mid. Yeah, he ends the last round, and he starts this one off with a bang. Big pick as well. That's down. We've been touting his value this entire half. Him alongside Jabby. We'll see if the newest member of Heroic can deliver when they need him most. Well, we've seen how, how important the 5v4s have been. This would take an abject failure here from NIP sitting on the site. Let's not make this round possible. But they do have the CTs on the A site calcified. No one is willing to move just yet. Scary game. Plopsky, a warning shot over the bow. Big shot. Well, that's an interesting move, and that actually makes Azatag move to Arch because there's no op now confirmed yep. inside of middle. He's got open lines. He's feeling like he's got space to play with. And Hampus this allows even. Hampus to rotate out. One bullet. And Hampus trying to piece together the picture to give Ninjas a round 30 win. Here it comes. The commitment at 30 seconds. They're right on the cusp. Plopsky, not yet needed. Brolin, one from the backside. Player going over. Shush is dead as well. Kadian cut off, and it falls only on to Yabby. An incredible comeback attempt. Six rounds straight the moment ninjas get 14. And now it is nothing but utter desperation from Jabby as he sprints into his death.